Hello, my name is A.B. Kadri and I am a structural engineer and I have worked in many, many consultants both in India and abroad. Basically, I am a structural design engineer. So with whatever little primitive knowledge I have, I have written this program. Let's open it. Allow the program to load uh, fully the file, otherwise it may not work properly. So this is the program written in Excel, design of self-supporting steel chimney from 30 meter to 90 meter with RCC foundation. Okay, there's a foundation below which you can design and this is my introduction here. Okay, this is you can see. This is my phone number. Okay, for inquiry, you can contact me here. Okay, okay that, that's okay. Now, I'm not going to do the design of the chimney, I'll just show you briefly how the inputs are to be given. First, let's go right down. See, this is a thing. Let's go right down. Okay. See the program has got 648 lines. Okay, now let's go. Up. So here you have to enter the data in the cells mark yellow. Okay. Whatever is required. And the height of the flared portion and the height of the chimney the data is to be entered by pressing this button okay now you see that if you press this button it will give you that the chart is protected only the yellow cells are not protected where you can enter the data but some cells where you have to enter the data by the button are protected so height you can input instead of 80 you say 85 height of the chimney and then see one third of the flat portion is recommended as it 28.33 okay so i think you can give 30 let's see if it takes okay 30 okay see it has accepted 30 here. Now outside diameter of the chimney and the outside diameter of the chimney at base. Okay, so let's see, let's give the outside diameter at the top to be 3 meter only. And at the base, let's give 5.1 meter. Okay, here we, it is 5 meter, Let, let's give 5.1 meter. Okay, so here it has changed to 5.1 meter. Now you press the calculate button. Okay, it is saying calculation complete. Okay, let it finish. Okay, see, it is giving okay, okay. Now you have to see here, you should get okay, okay for all the parameters and you can feed in the yellow cells as per this the data and this is the master check okay so the all the okay's which are below or not okay which are below it will assimilate and then give you whether you are getting okay everywhere or not if okay is everywhere then it will say that the design is okay otherwise any place if there is not okay then it will give you design not okay okay so yeah this is a master check and you have to satisfy this okay so this is a wind pressure diagram this is a wind pressure moment shear entire at every segment this is a moment diagram this is a shear diagram when the signal of the plate is corrosion allowance it is giving not okay here not okay here see at various places 
at various segments right from the top you have the segment height from top 3.4 6.2 so here, here I think it is giving not okay so you go and select instead of 12 you just select for 16 press calculate see it is giving you okay here okay so now you select 14 let's see whether you get uh, okay here okay 14 you also you are getting okay go up after so it is giving you not okay so 14 thickness is okay here okay calculate okay so similarly you have to satisfy all the segments and see that you get okay 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 here in all the segments and here we are uh, at the bottom of the segment it is 32 so let's see whether it can be optimized go for 30 no it is giving you not okay so you have to stick i think to 30 not okay so to, uh, go for 36 see 36 is okay here okay so similarly you have to satisfy all these thicknesses okay and then the total thickness of the chimney for corrosion uh, not okay not okay you have to satisfy this once you change this data in the yellow Hmm? then if you get ok here then you will get a ok here also below ok so here hydro from the top this windward side tension side and all then design of the anchor bolts ok this is the anchor bolt design you calculate provide so you can change the anchor bolt thickness 36 calculate see it is giving not ok so you have to satisfy this as ok here. So spacing of the bolt it is giving 97 while the minimum spacing of bolt is 108 for 36 meters. So provide anchor bolt spacing at you say 108 calculate okay so you have to do that then you have to do the design of the base plate Anchor bolt spacing 108. This 107 mm. How it is coming? See. You can't give a spacing which is less than this. Okay, 108. Because the minimum bolt spacing is 108. So if you give a spacing of 107, it will not take. You have to go for 8 only. Okay then you have to say calculate ok so you have to provide 161 number of bolts and 108 spacing ok now similarly design of base plate you see width of the base plate required is 434 meter okay this is 108 the spacing of bolts okay so the 434 so you have to adapt a 450 thick base plate okay so this offset is 400 minus 50 mm which is here okay that adds to 450 Okay, th then you give the thickness of the bolt as 63 mm. Suppose you reduce it, what happens? Thickness of the plate, sorry, 56. Calculate, see it will give you not okay here. Okay, so the vertical stiffness, uh, you can do the design. Okay, and then the deflection of your chimney, you get, you have to satisfy this. It is uh, giving you the 784 mm which is uh, 
height to deflection ratio is This actually should be not okay here. Yeah. I'll correct that. Okay, because this is hundred and eight. I to do. See the chimney is very slender because this is all not okay. Yeah. If once you finish that, okay, it will give you the right answer. And this should be less than two hundred. But now we are getting a four twenty five mm. This should be within four twenty five mm. This seven eighty four. So this should give now not okay. I'll do the correction there. So this is the summation of all the forces which are required for foundation design. But sometimes what happens is the uh, the chimney design is done by some other person, and you are asked to do only the foundation, so that uh, other party will give you the data. From whatever they made the design, so based on that, you can either use the general data or the user-provided data. Okay, so whatever design has been done there on the top, it goes in the general data. Okay, here. So these parameters above are reflected here. But if you want user-provided data, you have to press this. Okay, and the general data you have to press this. And user-provided data you have to press this. Calculate. Calculation complete. Okay. So here also, I think some correction is required here. General data. Then. Yeah. Use up all your data. Okay. Hmm. What it is giving? Two one two one. Yeah, it is changing here. Actually, there's some problem here. I'll do the correction because actually number two should come here. Then only it will change all that. So I'll make the correction there. I'll have to do that. Three one error is here. And the other error is here, so I'll make that all right. Okay. Now, now the chimney foundation is there, so you can put the SBC of soil, then the depth of the foundation from NGL, then the diameter of the chimney foundation, thickness of the foundation. I don't know why it is giving 17. Who who put 17 there? Okay, so these are the bars. This all these here to satisfy the depth is not okay here. It is saying why? So 1585 and you are getting 1525. Okay, so where you 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 have to fit the depth? I think you have to fit the depth. Somewhere here, I think uh, this is also. So I think seventeen hundred you put. Then you say calculate. Okay, now uh, you get. I think now you get okay here because sixteen twenty five, fifteen eighty two. Okay, then you change the bar diameter and all, and and then you see all these are okay based on your movements and shear. So here it is saying the shear is required because m actual per bar, m allowable, m allowable per bar. Okay, so you have to change the diameter here. Okay, so not required shear. Okay, 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 not required. So here also it is required. Why m when after m allowable per bar that that is okay. Here it is required because shear allowable is 66 and shear reinforcement is 
Okay, so I think slightly if you increase the reinforcement, okay, see it will give you not required here, okay. Otherwise, you have to give shear stirrups. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so that's all to it. Okay, so thanks for watching, and I'll make the corrections in the program. Okay. So, see all these OKs which you see and some not OKs are all connected with the master control here. If it says design is OK, then everything is OK. Otherwise, you have to change the parameters and see that the chimney is satisfying all the parameters here. Okay, so here it is. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thank you very much. Mama tried, Mama tried